And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So last time we beat a big dragon and we beat two and a half ghosts. Even pretty good. Let's leave these guys, Mario. Oh, okay. And we can just go straight down right here. I thought that we were gonna have to go for like a room or something. Do we have you identified? I don't even remember. Ah! Yeah. Uh, yeah, we do have you identified. Might have shown up during the Pit of a Hundred Trials, come to think of it. Stopwatch. I don't like it. Oh, I really don't like it. Oh, I really don't like it. Well, um, oh, come on, I didn't want, uh, I didn't want to use up a life shroom for that. <sighs> you know, you know what, you just saved. I'm resetting the game. It's kind of a cheat, but let's be real here. That was kind of dumb. Lolo de Rewind. Let's go. Oh, hey, they're gone. Hmm. See if I can... I probably can't actually get that box from here. No, it's too far. What I can do is draw you over here. I want to see what's in that box. Hmm. I see a badge. I kind of want to get it. Ms. Mouse, you know how to steal badges, right? Oh, you can only steal the badge from... Rude! Just as I had hoped.
I mean, I had also hoped that uh, I could actually block those, but uh... Alright, Ms. Mouse. You know what to do. Still power plus. No bingo. Also, it's interesting that uh, the audience doesn't like. Uh... Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. But doesn't like to see um, Ms. Mouse stealing. A couple of people actually left there. All right. What are we upgrading this to? I didn't even realize we were that close to a level up. Come to think of it. Remember kids, stealing is bad. FP. Thunder Rage, I'll replace the blue sheet. Oh, hi. Hmm. I, think, I don't think I actually... yeah. Self has some unspent... Make Mario immune to poison or dizziness. Hmm. I think so. Yes, yes, I know there is an item nearby, it's right there. Ah, get away from me. Stop that. No, not. Didn't realize how that was gonna go. All right, omelet. Oh come, on. that that is gonna be a bit tricky, I think. Okay, I see omelet's nose. There we go. This? Gotcha. Okay. I suspected this might be the case. You could probably also do this with Bobbery, but uh, the intended solution is surely with Hoops. Repel Cape. Don't need it. Oh. Hi. All right. I feel like this room is going to get very complicated. Hmm. There's actually nothing back here. If it, if it doesn't get pointlessly complicated now, then when? I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong.
Ah, if I had super guarded against that. That would have been the best. But I can still get rid of you with one attack. As long as it does any amount of damage. I might be able to take you out with a normal hammer attack. Yes, indeed. In fact, I did two points. I was expecting just the one. Alright, well. Up we go. Alright, so I don't think we can actually do anything from here. Is this where we came from? No, okay. Both of these. Don't know if that was the correct move. Oh, I know that wasn't the correct move. I want the yellow one back up. Then grab omelette. Saved it there, but uh, there we go. This mechanic that's come into play like twice. I mean, it does come late in the game, so I can't really fault it that much. What does this do? Okay. Okay, that I can straight up just use Bobbery actually. And I think that's gonna be the intended solution because I can't actually use Coops in such a small space. Shooting star, don't need it. walk directly into it. <laughs> like an absolute genius. Wild E. Coyote, super genius. Allow me to introduce myself, my name is Mud. And remember, Mud spell backwards is dumb. Oh good. Just what I love, being absolutely out of control of my character and being not able to do anything despite any of my best efforts. And now the audience is all asleep, except for that one jerk who put them all to sleep. And like, one other flower in there. Actually, I think there are like four of them awake.
Uh, they can be aimed at Mario, at the partner, or at the enemies. Anyway, can we put this in chat? One, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero. How to make it go. Well, this is not interactive, right? This is something that I have to remember for later. One zero one one zero one zero. Wait, wasn't there a locked door up there? Come to think of it. Is that life shroom that we would have spent in uh, in that other timeline that we didn't? Uh, let's. Uh... Hmm. And let's drop the super shroom because the life shroom heals for the exact same amount. Burst there. Okay. One zero one one zero one. That did something. That's what that did. How to make it go like this. It's in here. Another life shroom! Man, all stocked up here. Um, I have to get rid of this time, the blue sheet, I guess. Swap. Uh, uh, I'm good, bro. Oh, jeez. That make me do this, huh? All right.
Yeah, it's sort of like the... Uh, a little bit like the item in Binding of Isaac that, uh... I think there's an item that swaps your keys and your bombs. Similar idea, but, uh... A little more vital. Oh dear. Down we go. Into a fight? Question mark? Not sure if that's death from above or death from below, but uh, I guess it may as well be death from above, huh? So I'm probably not going to lose this fight. Probably. point left. Hmm. Well, you know what I say to that. I say I'm not playing that game. Also interesting to know that there was indeed another life shrew in there. Uh I don't really think I need it. To be honest. I have five. And two ultra shrooms and two slow shrooms. Two jam and jelly is a gradual syrup. I mean, I guess I could get rid of the stopwatch if I really wanted to. And the mystery. The mystery should really just use it or lose it at this point. Hi! Okay, and now that's going to go away. And I think the correct answer here is on it. Yep. Yeah, that was for a key. To which door? Well, I managed to catch it, so uh, bye bye, stopwatch, I guess. How do I get over there, though? I feel like I'm not actually able to, to take an airplane that far. Well, let's try. Alright. Large opulent room. Uh, Ms. Maz? Nothing here. Switch to Bobbery for no reason. Hmm. All of my friends are at full health. Um, I am definitely not at full health. Uh, 
All right, let's see what's in here. This room gives me a rather foul feeling in my belly. What is this chamber? Yeah. <laughs> we finally meet, Mario. I've been looking forward to this, I must admit. So this is our the leader of those x -Nauts. Yes, correct. I am the supreme leader of the secret society of the x -Nauts. I am Brodus. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I really must express my, my thanks to you first. And do you know why? We have gathered together all of the crystal stars I was seeking. No, so that last crystal star we found on the moon. What fools! <laughs> you just realize now, do you? Yes, instead of taking the few crystal stars you fools have bumbled into, it was far easier to let you find them all and open the thousand year door for me. How kind of you to bring them all here to me. All I had to do was entrust the last crystal star to my least competent underling. I suppose I, I don't suppose Crump had any idea of my plan, though. <laughs> so whether he beat you or lost you, the crystal stars would be together and mine either way. Pure genius! Now I thought the Shadow Silence would do a little more to slow your progress, but it appears they are so useless that even this small task was beyond them. No matter. Now I get the pleasure of sending you to oblivion! Watch your back, old boy. This burly fellow looks rather robust. Once you fools are gone, no no one will stand in my way. Brodus will rule the world! We will not let that happen! Now come! Meet your ends, you meddlesome fools. You will know my power. Oh good, he also has orders. Well, let's start getting our info. Fortunately, this does not actually count as an attack. That's Brodus! He's the head of the x who kidnapped Peach. Max HP is 50, attack is 7, and defense is 1. But when he has Gerda's exes surrounding him, his defense will go up by that number. He may also use electricity, fire, and time-stopping magic. That doesn't sound good. Still, he's a totally weird guy. Why is he doing so intense and serious all the time? I guess we don't have time to worry about that. Let's beat him and find Peach. I don't have a fire flower, do I? I have a thunder. That's a Grotus X. It protects, it protects Grotus. Max HP is 3, attack is 4, and defense is 0. This guy has no problem on his own, but Grotus' defense goes up for each of them. When he has 4 surrounding him, we won't be able to do any damage at all. So let's dish out some hurt to them while we pound on Grotus, got it? Can do. Um. No, that's not gonna hit the gross axis. Uh, I think the best attack right now is multi bounce, but I will first switch away from Ingo. Uh, let's go, Bobby. Something who's a little bit more suitable to tanking. Moving. Um. 
Yeah, that's hard to defend, not gonna lie. Viv, actually. Shay Fist. I mean, it's hard to defend either way, honestly. <laughs> Anything that can take those all out on a partner. Without being too spendy. I think I have a very limited number of attacks and I can actually do that. And one of them honestly is Fiery Jinx. Smash. Hmm. So you have the metal to push me this far, but no more. Can't eat it alone. I had the like I it that gave me the impression that I was going to work on both of them. Apparently, I mean, that's not the case. Burner got burnt. Hmm. Well, I can still get around it. Exia. Switch to Bobbery, let's just say. Power Smash! Ugh. You will not stop me! Take this! back to Vivian. And this is where this comes in handy, honestly. Now, I'm not going to be able to do Power Smash, but I definitely am able to do Hammer Hero.
Um... I think this counts... Hmm. Does it count as a as a direct attack on Kakarot? What would be sure to not count as a direct attack? I think the only thing that I can't absolutely be sure is just another hammer throw. There we go. Big 30 star points. <sighs> you are more than you seem. This is not finished. I saw even this possibility. What? Watch this! Founder. Where am I? Mario! Princess Beach? Move one step and she will breathe no more. You wouldn't. Now try this! Mario! <laughs> now again! What should we do? I mean, we're finished if we don't attack him. What should we do indeed? What do you think, Tyrion? Worm, you dare defy me? Do you not care for the life of your principal princess? Very well then. What? Roar! Didn't think it'd fall. I put on weight. Hey Bowser, you made it! You chunkiness, are you okay? But, 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 but. Why is Mario here? And Peach as well. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm putting it. I'm gonna put it into it right now. Mario, first I pound you. Then I take the princess, and then the treasure. What? This is almost unfair. All this is Bowser too? <laughs> oh, all worn out from Battle Mario. Yes, easy pickings. Today is the day I flush a plumber down the drain. <laughs> What's the finale without a Bowser appearance, huh? Cruddy finale, that's what. Now hold still while I trounce you, while I trounce you and take my peach. Mario, you sniveling bug. This is it for you. <laughs> well, I think I know how I'm going to start this fight. Uh, the biggest deficit is Vivian. We're going to just... Start start off with a sweet feast. Pretty good, I think. So we already know about Bowser, but um, 
Let's see what we, what we can find out about um, Cam here. That's Kami Koopa. She's an evil little witch who's always helping Bowser out. Max HP is 50, attack is 5, and defense is 0. She uses magic, uh, magic to raise her attack and defense to, or get electrified or invisible. When her HP gets low, she may also use magic to restore HP. Her magic is totally annoying, so take her out before you focus on Bowser. Still, you gotta feel for her having to hang out with Bowser all the time? Or do you think Bowser has a harder time during her? <laughs> I sure do feel good today. I'm feeling it. Lord Bowser, Lord Bowser, ra ra ra, get him. Cool. And thus, somehow manages to avoid death by a single point. Let's get her out of here right now. Oh, this might be hard to time though, and I have to in order to do. There we go. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and do the bombast. Oh no. This is not the time I need this to happen. Mm. So they're going to be asleep for two turns, which means my my uh, star power is barely going to go up. Mm. Uh, yes you are, Zero. <laughs> Although right now, uh... The, uh, the, the audience is taking an unscheduled nap. Ah, I missed! I also have a badge on, by the way, that makes it so that I, uh, with Mario, I have to hit the, uh, the action commands or else do no damage. Can't use a hammer? You can disarm me? You jerk. Oh, really? there for a second she ran off so like what where are you going there ah freaking hell uh. yeah I need to heal Mario ultra true Go. Oh dear. Not a big Bowser. Uh. Oh, I just stopped my brother. That's not good. Oh, come on! Why am I missing all my jumps? <sighs> More respect for Mario. So I was trying to find who was throwing something, and I just couldn't. Um, 
There we go. Stop healing yourself, you jerk. Okay, you're attacking me. Hmm. There we go. That's how that's supposed to be. gonna be a problem considering that I can't get back there. Well, I guess I can use a hammer throw. There we go. This is basically an attrition race is what's happening here. Ah. Oh, one point. The stalling is getting annoying, yeah. I completely agree with that. So it stops here. Forgive me, Lord Bowser, I have nothing left. Oh, come on. Really? Try to switch. Okay. Uh, probably not the ideal person to have here, but uh, she'll do. <sighs> so, Mario, you still have some fright in you. Not bad.
It is not, lady. I only make one damage at a time, though. That must be that must be a deep war thing if if that's her full name. Speaking of people's full name being deep lore, uh, I was today years old when I learned that Minnie Mouse's full name is Minerva, which I guess makes sense, but you never hear it. Uh, that would have been beautiful if that would have finished him off. But let's finish him off with a slap in the feet. Oh, you know. <laughs> How could this happen? Yeah, <sighs> that was too close. At least we've got that thorn pulled out of our sides. Now let's say Peach. Huh? What? Where's Grotus? Yeah! Yay! How's Peach? We're immediately going to go in the other direction to recover. Donald Fauntleroy Duck. All right. I feel the need to run into this uh, this candelabra for no real reason. Peach gets kidnapped every. Oh, there's another one here too, I guess. Ultra Shroom to replace the one that I used during that battle. And there's probably another save point right here. Which I believe is the last save point of the game. That's probably gonna be jam and juice? Or jam and jelly? Where'd Bowser go? No, oh, away somewhere. It doesn't really matter. An opposite size of the room. Mario, you're too late. What's going on? <laughs> Look well. In the coffin behind me sleeps the legendary treasure. The, this tomb holds the soul of that ancient demon, the wielder of destruction. It will possess Peach's body and bring life to the most powerful witch in the millennia. Possess Peach? Mario, I'm so sorry. Sending you that map caused all this trouble, didn't it? <laughs> With the power of the demon, I will rule this pathetic world. The time has come at last. The world will be mine. Now arise, arise, my shadow queen. Yes, Peach, I believe in you. I don't think candles work that way. They're negative candles now, apparently. Getting uh, a little grim dark. 
Just a little bit. You're not going to show us every single town falling under darkness, right? What's going on? The, the big epic scene at the end, I guess. Brother? Sky, it's... Speaking of the sky... What's all this? The sky, it's turning dark! Who has called me back? Tis I, my Shadow Queen. You. Very well. Where is the vessel? It is here. The girl who lies before you. Yes, a fine vessel. Now. Then, why did Zeus that this is the end of the world? What was that? Something terrible has happened. Things are so bad the detective gets correctly. No. That dark power I've truly awakened. No, this is unthinkable. <laughs> Witness my rebirth. My soul is not yet fully accustomed to this vessel, but I will learn it I will learn to control this body soon enough. Peach! Yes, my glorious witch queen, destroy these impudent fools! Who are you that would command me? What sort of being are you? Huh, what do you mean? I thought you were bound to the one to obey the one who woke you. Enough of this prattle, do as I say! Now I will send you back to the depths. Well, you did. You would do well to learn your pro your proper place, slave. No one commands me. <laughs> My powers are not yet fully restored, but they will come in time. What's going on, Mario? I I don't. My queen. You have returned to us. Ah, Bildum. What ages have passed. So you are the, uh, the one truly responsible for calling me back, yes? Yes, my queen. I searched for a pure maiden that you might inhabit. And as I did, I spread the room of, of a great treasure. Then I led the fools who had gathered the crystal stars here to open the seal. Yes. You have fulfilled your duties admirably. I am not worthy, my queen. And who are these beings that stand before? 
Yes, they do not appear to possess power, but they may be of use. If you will become my faithful servants, I will not harm you. What do we do, Mario? I mean, no way can we agree to serve her. Well, that's where you're wrong. Because I'm putting a save state right here. And we're going to agree. Yes, you are obedient. Good, my pet. Now you're mine. You'll serve me for eternity. And so the Shadow Queen engulfed the world with her foul magic. For Mario, for Peach, and for the world it was. Game over. But now let's pretend that never happened. I see. So you defied me. How amusing. <laughs> and you wretched fools, you will learn the error of your ways. <laughs> you are foolish to oppose me. Yes, and that foolishness will have to be punished. <laughs> Mario, if we don't defeat her now, the world is lost. So don't even think of it as Peach. We gotta fight with everything we have. Let's go! Naturally, your book is gonna say something about her, right? Oh my gosh, what happened? I can't believe Peach got possessed. That's awful. Now she is the Shadow Queen, the demon that destroyed this town a thousand years ago. Max HP is 150. Attack is 7 and defense is 0. She'll unleash big lightning attacks. She'll also use attack to raise magic, uh, to raise attack and defense or to absorb HP. She might even try to drag us into the, into the darkness. I don't feel good about attacking Peach, but we have to do something. Don't think of it as Peach, we just have to fight to the end, come on! Alright. Let's see. How weird did that I read that book includes this one character that was just a legend for everyone at best, right? No bingo. Not a big deal. Both attack and defense are boosted. Hmm. That means my other characters won't be able to do a whole lot. But I can use Vivian, who is going to literally betray against her absolute master here. painful. Let's go with Vivian. 
Shade Fist. I have a feeling that uh, all three of the uh, of the Shadow Sirens knew about her. Just that um, Vivian wasn't out at the time. Uh, it was yeah, it was Goombella rather than Vivian, and um, Beldum really doesn't say much. Or not not Beldum, uh, friggin' who's the other one's name? Marilyn doesn't say much. Ooh, she needs healing. Kind of wish that uh, I had spent more FP, honestly. I don't know, that go was clear heli rewarding. Here we go. Meteor meal. see it. Okay. It was next not so probably not even good, but that that large bob bomb there blocked the way. I don't really appreciate that game. I had to guess. Hmm. You're not on fire, so you need to be on fire. Body is unfamiliar to me. Yes, too unfamiliar. Let me assume my true form and show you my real power. <laughs> In this form, your attacks are like those of a child to me. You are lucky. You will perish with the honor of having seen true terror and power. <laughs> so apparently her hands have 5 HP each. That's gonna be a complete whiff, great. Uh, does Fire Drive... yes. Oh, but that's not doing any damage at all. <laughs> Is that your idea of an attack? Foolish. Ow. So I'm sure you can tell what's happening here, right? Ain't nothing we can do to actually do any damage. <laughs> now taste my power! <laughs> K 
can you please stop throwing rocks? We're having a serious fight here. Some little pest you are. <laughs> hey, that's my audience. What? You jerk. Yes, I have recovered from any slight damage you may have caused earlier. And now I will punish you for your resistance. Mario, whatever will we do? This could be the end. I mean, what else usually happens at this part? I will ask you again. Will you serve me? If so, I will forgive you for this. No, that is just senseless. Are we to betray everyone who, be who believed in us? <laughs> Very well. Then you will perish. What? What is this? The crystal stars? Ah! I mean, that's basically what's gonna happen here, Zero. The seven star seal comes up to the surface. And away they go. And by the way, while this is happening, nothing at all is happening in the boss room. Hmm, no! What's this shiny thing? There, the crystal star. I thought Mario had this thing. Hmm. I wonder, kids. This is related to the sky getting all dark and whatnot. Hmm. You may be right, but I don't know. But if my boy, if anything's happened to my boy Coops and Mario, oh dear. Coops, you're okay, right? You promised me you'd come back okay. Everyone in the boss room is way too confused to do anything. Whoa! The crystal star! What in the world? What's that doing here? This is very mysterious. Yes, a mystery, that. Snap out of it, Elder! Mother! Mario's in trouble! And so the crystal star is here to tell us, I just know it! What? Could it be? Hey, you're right, Patoonie. I can hear... I can hear it. The Crystal Star is speaking to us. It's telling us that Mario is fighting to save the world and he's in deep trouble. Mario, Flurry! Come on, don't give up! Wait, yeah, you can do it, guys! Keep fighting! Keep fighting! You can do it, Marty. I mean, Gonzalez. I mean, Luigi. Gonzalez. I mean, Mario. I know you're fighting far away right now. For us. For all of us. This crystal star has told us of your last brave stand. Maybe we can't do much to help you. But we're thinking of you. All of our wishes are for you. For your victory. Uh, yeah! Yeah! Feel it! Rock out for Gonzalez! Rock! Listen to me, Gonzalez. Anyone who's beat me is not allowed to lose. That's right, you, Star, until tell that shrimp that beat us to never give in. Fight! We're sending you out strength, G-Man. You feeling the love, my man? Gonzalez! Bye now, Mario. Don't you give up, Mario. Give it to him. Fight, fight! 
Yeah, never give in. Yeah, believe in yourself. Fight! Mario, you may feel like it's going rough. Like the ties have shifted against you. But if you lose, the world will be plunged into darkness forever. Please, don't give in. Vivian was her name, right? I'm a bit worried about the girl that was, that was with Mario. She seems so innocent. They'll be fine, all of you. Mario will never give up. Mario will stand true. I... I still remember how he... how easily he took care of that monster who had cursed us. We must have faith in him. We must believe that light will return to our world. Fight, Mario! Fight on! Fight! Oh yeah, brother! Mario, don't give up! Stop him! You can do it! Come on, you bilge pumps! Cap Lumineer, you! Fight, Bobbery! Fight! Go get him! Yeah, fight! Once more! Go, go, go! Do it! Fight! You got him! Admiral Bobbery! Show more real sea bombs that made out of night! Never give in! He'll surrender! Keep fighting! I do hope they're all okay. Do not fear, my dear. Luigi is my finest pupil. I'm quite sure he'll prevail. Well, I were nonetheless. I so hope there is a future. I so hope there is a future in which my little buck can grow and prosper. Well then, I suppose we all we can do is give him a rousing cheer. Hmm? Yes, certainly. I am quite sure he will. F that he can hear us through the power of this crystal. Darn right, Dad. Go, Gonzalez! Go get him! Why, you, you lovely thing. Gonzalez! Go, Gonzalez! Help. Oh. Mario? Gonzalez? Not Luigi? Oh, I say. <laughs> You're assembled now. Good work, my comrades. Now let us do it. Ready and. Mario! Ba bomb, ba bomb, ba bomb, you the bomb! The show of the boom up, the booby! Mario, you can do it. You go, bro! <laughs> Is that. Can you hear them, Mario? So many voices! There. They're all sending us their wishes in positive energy. That's simply incredible. What? What are all these vile voices? Mario, look at that! What is this? Light? Ah. Huh. Ah. Mario. That voice. Princess Peach? Mario, hi. What? You wretched little girl, you disobey me? Mario, take... Take the loss of my power! Foil! What is this now? I feel positively bursting with energy! You brat! Obey me, girl! Farewell, Mario. I believe in you. Mario, aim for the head! Peach! Ah, very cunning princess. But you will not undo me. Know me as your queen. I'm gonna put a save state here just in case things go south. We still have six, count them six, life shrooms. So I don't think we're going to lose. 
But just in case, just so we don't have to sit through all of that again, because we would have to if we were to lose. Final battle go! Mario, this is our time! We're almost finished! Enough! This ends now! We are gonna have to build our audience back up though, because they have been consumed. But we can confirm that everyone's HP is back up to full. And we also have full uh, star points if we need to use those. So it's gonna take us a while to build them back up. If I really wanted to, I could spend a few turns just, uh, just appealing. Not gonna bother with that. Doing a lot of stylish is, is gonna be the best way to refill the audience here, I think. Ah! What? How is it that you can hurt me? Ah, yes, much better! Prepare for payback! Fools! Oh, they don't stay down. Let's go with the saver idea of doing a power smash. I think this might be a scripted bingo. Yeah, that was definitely a scripted bingo. I pressed the button and it didn't stop until it actually got to the right symbol. Oh. I think I'm going to use Veil. Oh, those are all pointed at at, uh, at the boss. Well, that's convenient. Alright, Vivian. Get us out of here. That looks like it would have hurt. smash these hands. No? I can't aim. They must be actually behind uh, the Shadow Queen. Alright, Fire Drive it is. There it goes. Well, there they are again. Doing an art attack. Oh, that barely hit the hands at all. Ah, uh, my thumb slipped off. Can I do one more? Nope. Uh, let's get you out of here. Bobbery. Ah! I don't know if that was good or not, 
but uh, the seat was immediately filled, so I'm gonna assume that was good. Bomb. to know what they're throwing if the big bob bombs keep blocking the view. Like, I have to guess every time. I don't like that. Use the force. Use the forks! You know what? When else are we going to use this? Alright then. I don't know if that's gonna have any effect, but let's give it a try. It did affect the Shadow Queen. I wasn't expecting that. Bob on bass, let's go. She's still immobilized. This is kind of great, actually. I know, right? It could entirely also be that she is immune to the actual stopwatch. But if you hit stopwatch with mystery, it does have effect. Um, gonna take a risk. Spring jump. Ah, I did at least hit her. She's back up. <laughs> you do not know what you have done. Don't I? Don't I? Hmm. Uh. And the seat got filled, so that was a bad thing again. Not that I would have known, other than to just guess. I think Coops is gonna be a call here. And she's back to the hands. Switch him out for Bobbery. And, uh, oh, come on, really? That was a puny. Like, how was I supposed to know, game? Please. I think one of the main uh, objectives right now is going to be to keep her uh, her extra attack at bay. Uh, 
Oh dear. Well, down goes Viv, but at the very least, we still have those, uh, those life shrooms. Out of flower power. I think this is the perfect time to pull out the Jelly Ultra. I slipped. Oh, that still counts though. No bingo though. Alright, we need to deal with those extra attacks immediately, especially since they are also healing her. I think a power shell is going to take out both hands. Uh, I'll switch you out immediately. Let's put in Flory. Ow. Thank you. Well, no reason not to put Mario in front if he's going to be invisible. I don't worry too much about that hand because that's going down. Way to try to absorb Mario while he's invisible. No longer invisible, but uh, that's perfectly fine. Uh, Viv. Fiery Jinx. X, A, X, X. Get rid of those hands. Corey, come back out here. I'm not gonna take that risk of uh, of doing the uh, the spring jump anymore because that's just way too hard to time. <sighs> no, it it cannot be. How? Actually, I wouldn't mind having Zap Tap right now. Um, yeah. X, X, Y, X, Y. Fire Drive. Oh crap, I forgot to switch out Viv. Hmm, she's going down again, isn't she? No? You're gonna spend your turn boosting. Which I am okay with that. Not enough points for Fiery Jinx again. Okay, I know what I want. I know what I want to do. Uh, shade. No 
Oh, bingo. Switch out to Ms. Mouse. And, uh, Fire Drive. Next turn, if I focus on the Shadow Queen, I should be able to take her out. And you know what? Let's finish this the way it started. Goombella, head bonk. Good job, Goombella. <laughs> Great hustle. Oh my goodness, no! Can you please not, sir? <laughs> Ah. Living life on the edge. I really wish I had that badge that doubles attack power when in peril. This would be like the time to have that. No, I know how I want to finish this. Let's bring Boombella back out here. Supernova. Do it. Right? <laughs> GG, one star point. Impossible. Unthinkable. How could I? I, I cannot be beaten by lesser beings such as these. And I had just been reborn into this world. I cannot. I, I must not. Powers of Darkness defeated by a pair of old shoes and a dusty hammer. No! Let's get out of here, Marilyn. Uh -huh. Hey! Hey! Hey, wait! Uh, uh, uh. Princess Peach! Mario, come here! Peach is totally okay. She's not even hurt. Sorry, Mario. We knew all this would happen. No, oh, it's totally okay, Peach. I was like, no big deal. No big deal. We just... We just dis destroyed the demon who was going to annihilate the world. You know, no big. Thank you. All of you. Aha! There you are, Mario. Well, well, can you believe those brutes even, uh, even came after me and old Goomba? And I still made it here. I was so worried about you all, you have no idea. 
I look, by the look of things, though, I guess we're in the clear, am I right? You kids sure are the real thing, I tell you. Yes, I seem to be in one piece too, so all is well. So without further ado, take a look at this! I found this on the way. This must be the treasure we heard rumors of in Moonport. My theory's been correct all these years. There really was a legendary treasure. Oh, Professor Frankly. No, don't bring me down. Now it would be something great. And all's well that ends well. Now how do we get out of this damn place anyway? Hmm. Let's go home, Mario. Back to everyone. And we say goodbye to Roadport. It sure has been a time of some sort. So, you're leaving then? Well, that's too bad. Having you around really did wonders for my research. Ah, oh, Professor, we never let you monopolize Mario for, re for your research anyway. Besides, you said I could be your uh, your research assistant for next term. Hmm. Yes, that's right. And I thank you, Kumbala. Mari, even, af even after you leave here, please don't forget about us, alright? And we, in return, will wish that you find all the best in the future. Never ever give up, Mario. That's the most important lesson I that's the most important thing I learned from you. Thanks, Mario. Just promise you'll think of me. Just promise me. Just promise me you'll think of me now and again, okay? Um, Mario. Thanks to you, I found courage and inner strength. I don't know how to say this, but I think I like myself more since I since I've known you. I feel like I've grown closer to my dad. It's all so hard to put into words. Um, my dear, dear Mario. I am ready to make my comeback in the theater now. I've found so many things on this journey that I can only express on stage. And with these new themes, I'm so ready for that wonderful spotlight again. Please do come see me once we finish rehearsing. And bring Peach too, dear. Gonzalez. No, oh, yeah, wait, I gotta stop doing that. It's Mario, right? Well, you'll always be Gonzalez to me, man. Gonzalez was born in the Blitz Pit, and Gonzalez is and always will be the champ. So let's meet again, Gonzalez. I mean it, man. Uh, Mario, I. I feel like I've grown to a lot. Yeah, never mind. But yeah, I sure do think that you and Peach make a nice couple. <laughs> I. Never forget my time traveling with you. So, don't forget me either. My well, little boy, it was the most it was the most agreeable that I had the chance to meet you. If not for you, then my dear Scarlet would still gaze down upon a broken bob -on. But now I'm off to sea again. I know Scarlet would have wanted it that way. Let's see each other again, Mario. And this time, let it be on the high seas, old boy. Oh, it is time to uh, it is time for us to part, my little cheese hunk. But I'll now say farewell, because you're welcome here any time. And since you're welcome, you should come any time you please, sweetie. Now be careful, and until we meet again, adieu. Well, the boat's always here. Mario! Uh, uh, Mario! It's hard to tell sometimes who's gonna approach. Now we made it just in time! He's with you! We brought them so you have something to eat on the boat. Yummy! These are very fresh mushrooms. Oh, no, no. oh how lovely! Thank you! Everyone?
Uh, I got disconnected from, um, hmm. I am hoping this is not an actual connection issue. But this is a real bad time to, to get disconnected. Attempt to stop streaming here, but this might be just a case where I have to actually start the recording again. Oh no! I don't know. The it actually did stop streaming. This is a really crappy time for it to cut out on me, though. Hmm. Uh, let me stop the recording for a sec. So that was weird. Um, not only did I get disconnected, but also uh, Reactive Images is no longer working, so I can't show my cat face on the stream right now. And when I tried to log into the website, it said that I'm rate limited, which I don't understand. Um, but that's okay. We're at the end of the game anyway. Let's just get through this. If not for all of you, the world would have fallen into a horrible darkness. May your brave hearts strove for peace and save this world. I don't know how to thank you. But know that the entire world is in your debt. <coughs> Excuse me. Now is not the time on, for choking on water and dying. Goodness. What? Nonsense. We're the ones who should be thanking you, Princess. If you hadn't come to our little town, We'd all be puppets for the Shadow Queen in Grotus. The thought gives me hives. Ah, look! Look, your highness! I see the boat! Take care, everyone. Farewell! Oh, forgive my lateness, sir. I must have dozed off a bit. But please, come on board. I'll get you folks back at full steam. Set a course for the Mushroom Kingdom. I feel like we should probably have bought Luigi along, too, because you know, he was on his own adventure. Ah, he's... You're all such lovely people, don't you think? I have too many good memories of Roeport, ooh, the kidnapping and all. But it really is a vibrant town full of love for life, isn't it? Are you? I was very frightened when they took me. But, well, Tech was really there for me and helped me get through it all. And I knew that you would come to help me as well. I always believe in that. Thank you, Mario. I... Maybe I should listen to Toesworth and behave more like a princess from now on. Of course that's not gonna happen. We all know it's not gonna happen. Mario! Look out there! Our is positively shining! It's so beautiful! <clears throat> I 
And... Oh wow, that's crazy, bro. You had a pretty rough time of it, didn't you? And now that Peach is safe, I guess everything's okay. Really though, how amazing is it that you saved the world again? Again, bro? And say, it's been, a while, it's been a little while since then. Are you ready for a new adventure? Yeah, you're the man, bro. I wonder what everyone who traveled with you is up to. Oh, oh what was that, bro? Is that your newfangled mail get gadget? Dear Mario, what's up? Goombilla here. I'm still working. I'm still here working with Professor Frankly. We beat the, the Shadow Queen, but there's tons of Rogueport lore we still don't get. So my research for the uh, for the professor goes on and on. That's what I'm a bestseller now. Sold an entire one copy worldwide. But the info I gathered with you, we have lots of great leads now, though. Mario, like I always said, every myth contains a kernel of truth. Speaking of which, Noah was in the uh, well. Noah was in the chest that Professor recovered. You're totally not gonna believe me when I tell you it's a secret. <laughs> I'll tell you next time I see you. As part of my research, I did go back to many of the places we visited, and I saw everyone we traveled with too. A small piece of paper with, with friends are the real treasure in that. Koops is living peacefully in Petalburg with his dad and Koopy Koop. And Mario, guess what Koops wants to do now? He wants to become mayor of Petalburg and live there in peace. Can you imagine? Still, it might just be perfect for him, come to think of it. He's so much more of an adult now than when we than when you left Rogueport. Still, I think Koopy Koop pretty much has him wrapped around her little finger. Oh no! We're getting into a battle? What is this? Oh, okay. It's automated. Flirty's back on stage and in a big way. And the crowds are totally ecstatic. And the play she's doing right now is the story of our adventure. Yeah! It's called Paper Mario. I saw it twice. It was totally the best play ever. And somehow Duplist has joined the has joined the troop as an actor. Who saw that coming? His transformation skills are serving him well, but it still kinda creeps me out. Oh, no omelet? Yeah, he's fighting solo in the glitz pit. Since it's getting pretty close to title match even, he's not just adorable? Oh yeah, he's calling himself the Great Gonzalez Jr. in the ring, by the way. Sort of silly, but kind of cute too, don't you think? Oh, and wait, I have to get this exactly right or he'll get like so mad at me. He had said that he could totally take you in the ring now, so bring it. I guess he doesn't change. He's not too cute. Maybe he's gone back to hang out with her sisters. Family is important after all. Now that the Shadow Queen has been defeated, I don't think Beldam's into evil. Oh, and Beldam also promised me she would never be mean to Vivian ever again. Yep, yeah, I think the three sons are gonna, are gonna live pretty peacefully from now on. I should totally come visit her sometime. Bobby goes out to sea every day now with Cortez. I think his soul is healed. I ran into him on Kiel Honky by accident the other day, which was really nice. He was so happy, I thought he was gonna blow up on me for a second there. You know, I bet Scarlet is looking down on and smiling right now. Oh, and I almost forgot. Everyone in Kiel Honky is well, and they say hello.
Miss Bales is still running the bad shop in Roadport, so she's happy. She comes over to Frankly's sometimes to visit. But as usual, as soon as she sets foot outside the shop, she turns into a badge ninja. She said just the other day that she found some super rare badge, actually. That's our globe-trotting, mystery-making, flirting little badge thief, huh? I like her theme song. Oh yeah! In my travels, I heard a rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus are both still alive. I guess that makes some pretty tenacious baddies, doesn't it, Mario? But they've mellowed out a lot, just like Belgium has, and I don't expect more trouble. Plus, I hear Grotus is just ahead, which, cut, which really cuts down on mischief, on mischief making. Speaking of miracle survivals, guess whose favorite computer is still computing? Or fa whose favorite calculator is still computing? He says he really wants to see you and Peach again. How, though? The entire facility exploded, didn't it? Well, I'm totally rambling at this point, so I guess I better wrap it up. I just want to say, even though, I'm, even though things got tough, I'm grateful for our time together. And there is one thing that I kind of weighed that kind of weighed on me, and I never got to express to you. See, I, well, maybe that's best kept a secret. Yeah, you could have just deleted that out of your message. So please say hi to Beach for me, okay? Till we meet again. Your friend, Goombella. Hey, that's awesome, bro! Sounds like everyone's doing great over there! Huh? Someone here? Excuse me, sirs. Hello, Mario. Hello, Luigi. He doesn't allow me to apologize for coming in and out, but... I was cleaning out the storeroom in the castle the other day, and... I found something rather amazing. Yes, Tozworth found the treasure map. I'm sure it'll, re to, it'll lead to real treasure this time. I just know it. So, Mario, you look to look for treasure, isn't that right? Post waiting for you. <laughs> Not given a choice. Womp. And that's it! That is Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. It is done! And, uh... We're not quite done with it, though. And I'll get into that in a second. But, um... Yeah, it was really nice to be able to, to revisit this game. I'm really glad... Like, I... It sucks that Zuzio wasn't able to make it for the ending. Um, but I'm really glad that she suggested this, well, requested this game. Um, and I... Yeah, I'm really happy I played this game. I, I don't know if I've finished it since actually finishing it in college, to be honest. And thank you for the 200 bits, Zero. Much appreciated. Mario! Um... Oh, what can I say about this game? I, I kind of enjoy the, uh, the whole idea of being able to, like, time your attacks to improve their efficiency. Which is something that kind of comes up a lot, at least in Mar like in the Mario RPGs that I've played, it does make fights more engaging. Like it's not just like mash A to win. Like 
in order to maximize your output, you actually have to be paying attention to the fight. There's, there's some generally some pretty good writing, like as, at least as far as Mario goes. It's not like the, the most engaging thing in the world. It's not the most engaging story in the world. But it's pretty good. Like, it's... It follows the formula pretty well. I guess let's put it that way. And, and, formu and formulas kind of lead to complacency a little bit, but it, done right, it can still be kind of fun. Character interactions are fun and goofy. The game, the game has some amount of replay value just for the fact that, like, just the idea that switching to different characters will lead to different interactions. Like, not, not largely different, but notably enough that some people are going to want to play again just to see what the other characters say. Also, this was a hell of a test of my voice acting skills. <laughs> Like, these guys, they're professionals. They know what they're doing. But, um, I am definitely an amateur and uh, sometimes just kind of trying to maintain a voice. Basically, in what tone you want the same info being told, yeah, basically. But yeah, trying to, to like, maintain the same voice for the same character when you might not even see them for but when, when I might not see them for two or three sessions, you know? And then having to remember, like, what did this guy sound like? I don't remember. But, um... Yeah, I definitely had fun with the voice acting for this, and, um... I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. I'm just glad that for the next game that we're going to be playing, I'm not going to have to worry about voice acting. Because every single line is voice acting. And here's another hint. It is a game that I have played, sort of, on my old uh, Let's Play the World channel but never finished. And it's unfortunate that I didn't finish it because it's a pretty good game. But um, yeah, things happened and I just never actually finished it. Um, so let's go over the schedule. So the next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at 4 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Code Creator stream um, where I'm going to keep working on bumper stickers. We're probably going to be doing the save system tomorrow. Um, then on Saturday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, it is the uh, extra long run stream where we're going to continue our run of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And um, we have a lot of hero quests to do. Let's just put it that way. I don't even know if we're gonna get to continue the main quest. We have three hero quests that we gotta do right now, so we're gonna be busy for a while. Following that is gonna be the Sunday Super Shuffle Sunday at uh, 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Standard Time. Um, and we're gonna do some War Archipelago shenanigans. And um, hopefully everyone will be there and we'll uh, have a great time on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And then next week, um, we're going to be doing a safe mode stream. Uh, it is going to be related to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. And I did mention earlier this stream, I don't want to start my next game next week because I'm going to be doing one week and then the week after that is going to be uh, Desert Dust for Hope 
as you all know, I don't stream against Desert Bus for Hope, so I'm not going to be streaming that week. Um, so I didn't want to do like one stream and then stop and then, you know, pick up again the the next week. I think the same thing happened last year too, didn't it? Like this sounds familiar. What I'm saying right. Now. Um. So yeah. That is going to do it for today. Uh, thank you to uh, Zero and Tyrion for hanging out. And anyone else if you've been uh, lurking in the background. Much appreciated. Um, and thank you of course Zero to, for the uh, 200 bits. So, um, I guess we're not going to need those two extra hours after all happens that way sometimes. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.